Tim Blankenship here with Divorce661.com, and I want to show you one of the worst mistakes you can make on the petition when you're filing and you know your case is going to be a default. And I say this because in most cases, you can amend your petition and reserve it and correct it. But if you don't know where your spouse is going to be uh, a second time, this can be very problematic. And what happened here is this person even went to the self-help center at the court, and this is what they told them to do. They told them to mark under spousal support, you see here number eight, on box B, they marked terminate the court's ability to award spouse support to petitioner. That's the person filing for divorce. That's fine. But if you're going to terminate to yourself, you also want to terminate it to your spouse. But in this case, they had them mark box C and reserve for future determination the issue of support payable to respondent. So what does this mean? This means that the petitioner who's filing a default divorce can never get support but saying that they want to reserve jurisdiction in the future to be able to pay their spouse at any time in the future should they file a motion with the court to request support in the end. So even though this will be a default divorce where the other party is not participating by choice, she has to now file this as a default judgment and the, the judgment itself has to match up with the petition. We can't in the judgment now ask to terminate the court's jurisdiction, uh, just like for the petitioner, because on the petition, when they filed this and served it, they told the respondent, hey, the jurisdiction is reserved for future determination, and to file the default, the petition now has to match. And that's unfortunate because in this particular case, the respondent's no longer able to be located or served in any fashion, so now we have to file the judgment leaving this loophole open in the future. Now, probably won't ever become a problem because the respondent probably doesn't know what this means or maybe he doesn't qualify for spouse support, but this is definitely not the right way to do things. Uh, We are able to finish this divorce for this client. Uh, She's had lots of trouble over two years. This case was filed in 2020, and a lot of getting these cases through the court is really understanding the procedural tactics and what the court needs to push these through. So if you're having difficulty with your divorce, and you're running into issues getting paperwork through, give us a call. Be happy to help you out.